all right so what is going on today youtube now i've been holding off this deck profile for i don't know how long i mean it's not it wasn't on purpose i meant to get it out to you guys on monday or at least tuesday um, but i was not able to get it out on tuesday because as you guys know you guys seen the uh shinobi necro duels and stuff like that and also the vendor link did get released so i did a video on that but today folks i'm going to be showing you guys the deck uh i took to the pasadena regionals and came in 26th place Sadly, we didn't get that top eight, even though we were very, very close. Um, we started off great, but once again, we'll talk about that after I get done with the deck profile because if this is longer than 15 minutes, my computer will not render it and you guys will have to wait another day. So hopefully you guys do get to see this one. So we're going to hop straight into it. And then before we start, like always, if you guys do enjoy this deck, do enjoy this video, definitely go and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, share the video, do whatever you got to do, leave a comment, let me know what you think about it. And also... If you want to help the channel, I'll link to in the description down below, or you guys can click and add. And uh, yeah, so let's just hop straight into it and to, to the start off with the most important card of the deck, which is Triple Unizombie. I think that everybody understands how important Unizombie is to this deck. And I chose to play three because this is the actual uh, Zombies version, and I would love to get the um the combo started as fast as possible this in a bazooki in your hand can also get the extra link so that's why this is mandatory i believe at three because this can get you like you don't need you don't need the rituals but the rituals make it a lot easier you don't need them but and unizombie can just go ahead by himself uh, facilitate the whole combo so that's that's pretty good there's a reason why i went three other people do run two such as my boy canelo but um yeah um <laughs> he runs two i run three uh, but I will try to get his deck profile on um, Thursday and you probably guys will probably see it Friday or something like that. So next up triple Mizuki uh, Triple solitaire. I don't think there's really any explanation with that If you guys don't know what solitaire does it gets you in a zombie and Mizuki is just a reborn for every zombie in your deck um, One samurai skull one gozuki um, I like to have both effects because uh, he, when he leaves the field because of a card effect of your opponent, he's able to spell something from the deck. And then when he sends to the graveyard, you can spell something from your hand. I like to have both. Some people don't like to play him, but I, I really do. I really, really do. And I really wish Konami would make a hollow version of Samurai Skull. I know that's asking him much, but yeah, man, he's just really, he's really, really good. I really do enjoy him. And you play against Ultra Guys, this is yeah, easy, easy out. If you play against any deck that just maps destruction, you summon that Samurai Skull, you're able to just, your opponent won't try to basically destroy anything. So. Playing against True Draco and they pop it, bam, you can just keep going off and keep doing all your plays. Uh, so that's why I like to play him. Next up, Heart and Soul of the deck, Goblin Zombie. I shouldn't have to explain what this does. It searches everything in the deck besides two, the, what, five, uh, seven cards. And it, he's just pretty much the reason why this combo was even viable. And the one of Sh Spirit Master because you can banish him to pop a card. And also you can special summon him if you banish uh, Sheer New Solitaire as well and he's banished. Next up, the Vendred part of the deck which is two slayers two battle lords i chose only to play four rituals which was very 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 cutting and close because you need to search with battle you need to search a ritual to activate battle lords effect and with four it can really cut it close because you're going to summon one and then you're going to send the other one so basically you'll be left with one and if you draw it you're pretty much asked out but i chose to play four and never conflicted never came up to where the problem was i did not have a ritual or wasn't able to resolve both effects in one turn so that was good i would suggest playing a, a, a fifth ritual because that's the the safest way to do it my way was very uh very um very dangerous that's how i should say next up hound horde striders and a vendor core i like to have a variety this special summons by banishing so you can banish spear master pop a card this uh special summons itself by revealing and then this you can ditch a vendor card to special summon i like the variety of having all three because they're all once per turn so i just have i like i like to, if i play two strategies i would only be able to resolve this once uh per turn so that means if i draw another one and send another one to the grave i won't be able to do it so having like these two or this or all i mean basically by having all three i'm able to special summon three monsters I guess from the graveyard if I do have the stuff which you most likely will have most of the time next up the hand traps I played triple ash blossom and double ghost reaper uh, this won't be mained anymore I definitely will play ghost ogre besides this it, it didn't do me bad it's just I never had to resolve it never could I mean no I did the only time I did activate it it got uh, what's the name it got called by the grave so that was that but like I said 
um, this would definitely be go start because more, more likely than not, you're not going to be able to do this. If you go first or if you're going off, you're not going to be able to use the Ghost Reaper. Um, and then if you play against a deck that, you know, you don't have a Reaper target for it, it's pretty lackluster. And the Ashes, you guys already know how I feel about Ash. And to be honest with you, I, I you know, they, they didn't, I didn't really have to use Ash most of the time because I was just going Gumbler and looping five cards out of my opponent's hand, which I will talk about after the profile. But yeah, when I did have it, like I did Ash a couple of cards and it was pretty much a game over from that. I Ash the Ghost Skull Deep, one from there, and then I Ash a Kaiju Slumber, which would have killed my board. So yeah, that was cool. Shout out to my boy Karan for uh, uh, letting me use his Ash Blossoms for the tournament. And shout out to my boy Big E for suggesting I play three of that instead of three Reaper because I would have been kind of asked out. Next up is the Vampire that I love to play, which is Familiar uh, Scourge. Uh, retainer and a domination this really never came up these two never really came up because my opponent didn't have no cards in hand uh, but these two I if you I, I don't know I just really love this it's just three monsters you special summon this this searches this when you this leaves a field firewall trigger special summon this you get a vampire from your graveyard that's just easy three monsters it just really helps with the extra link and you get just, it's just 1500 life points for three monsters I mean that's a better soul charge, you know? <laughs> I'm just playing, but you guys get my drift. And lastly, the one Ibley. That's it for the monsters. On to the spells. Um, we do play triple. Oh, wait. Whoa, there we go. We play triple origin, double evolution. I definitely will be playing the third. This is something you definitely want at all times because you're able to, you have so many ways to send Vendra, I mean, have a ritual or send a ritual to the, uh, from the deck to the grave and you definitely would want to ritual summon because that's the easiest way to pull off the extra link combo and yeah definitely would play three uh it never really came up where i needed a third one but i'm just saying i would like to play three in the future next the one of burial soul charge and monster reborn no i did not play foolish barrel um every time i tested foolish barrel every time i played foolish barrel it never really made my plays better it never really made them worse so i just did not play it did not miss it and i be, be honest with you I don't even think I resolved these cards. <laughs> probably, I only probably only did it once. Um, so, I mean, it never really got to the point where you needed to do it. And then, lastly, Triple Call by the Grave and Trooper Pre Prep. Um, you need to play Triple Call by the Grave in this format. It's just, it's just very needed. All right. So, on to the extra deck, the obligatory token for the Link ones. We played Mermaid and Link Karibo. For the Link twos, we played Phoenix, Double Goblin, and Double Sucker. Uh, I would not play three Sucker. Two is a I mean, this is as much as you need is two. Two is pretty cool. You can even play the uh, that Dino Link. Um, anything is fine with you, to be honest with you. But I just like to have the second one just in case the first one, something happens to the first one. It's pretty cool to have the second one. And uh, for the Link 3s, the card that unlocks the deck and the card that pretty much locks your opponent out of the game, Trigate and Summon Sorceress. I don't even have to explain what those do. You guys should already know. And for the Link 4s, we play Griffin, Firewall, and Gumbler. And then Gumbler, combined with the Omegas, we're looping five cards. My opponent, every time my opponent activated a hand trap that did not stop me, so if you did not, act, if you don't know activate Droll, you're getting looped for five cards out of your hand, and that's how pretty much I won most of my duels. Looping five cards out of my opponent's hand or looping their whole hand away, it was just crazy. Uh, and like I said, the two Omegas that you can go to uh, through the combo and pull this off and stuff like that, it's... Oh my god, it's, just, it's so fun to loop your opponent for five cards. I mean, it gets boring after a while, but it is very fun. And last but not least, Shirinari Shogun Saga. I would definitely play this. I would not play this deck without this because sometimes you can't attack and you need that game. And you can definitely push for game with Shogun Saga. It actually came up against a true Draco player. And I hit him for probably like 90-something hundred uh, total. And it was just crazy. All right, so on to the side deck. We play the third Reaper. I uh, don't really have to uh, explain that. Then we play the Gamma package. These cards are great. I would love to main them, but I just can't. I can't. I really can't because we always have too many. Mon we already have a. Mon we always have a monster on the board. So these aren't really. I guess great. They're great though. When you activate a pre prep and your opponent tries to draw you, and you activate the Gamma, it's it's so good. You. That is so good. The fact that you get a free Omega because your opponent tried to play the game is <laughs> very unfair, but it, it feels very good. Next up, we have the Cyber Dragon package. Um, I wouldn't side these no more. I definitely would keep this in the side deck, but these I would not side anymore because this, the only reason I played this was for the, uh, the extra link 
and um, pretty much when you get extra link you just get gumblered so I mean having cyber dragon does nothing these would definitely be replaced with hand traps um, probably would be the reapers I'll probably just put in the two extra two reapers and two other hand traps I don't know something like that but I definitely wouldn't side those this I would keep because that means I have a basically a win condition against cyber dragons because people love to go first with that deck for some odd reason and then you just basically game two and game three are yours if you want game one then game two is definitely yours because you're just gonna either you're gonna let me go first and I'm gonna loop you or you're gonna go first and I'm just contact everything and win from there so this why this might this might be a reason you play the the dino link because then you can just normal summon any zombie or you can ritual summon a, a slayer or something go into that and then you can just basically do the combo from there and uh the next two cards are two red reboot uh two o'clock in the morning man two o'clock in the morning Yu-Gi-Oh theory testing or whatever is the greatest thing ever because this came in at two o'clock and i actually won a duel because of it Thank you, man. This is this, if you guys are going to a regional, stay until like two o'clock when y'all droopy and sleepy. You come up with some of the best text. And last but not least, a card that is just my opponents. I mean, not my opponents, but my team. Not even my team, but my my guys, my my my, my people that you know I test with and stuff like that. They do not like, but I do love it. It's triple uh, pointer of the lotus. The the thing about this now, before you guys dislike and leave hateful comments, the thing about this card is when you're going when you're going first game two or game three. To have this after you loop your opponent to get their sphere mode, to get their hand traps, uh, to get anything that basically let's say you don't finish your combo, you can you can stop Gokis because Gokis sometimes only have like two monsters to go off with. So if they have like a Marooting Captain or something or whatever the case, like a Junk Forward, they might have one monster, they might normal summon something, then I mean you, you smell the instant fusion, so you just activate this, get that instant fusion out of his hand, they gotta end their turn, you go on to win. Um, I actually won against VA because of this card. Uh, I said it, he went, he, uh, he went Beatrice, and uh, he went, he went Dante, and the Skarmy attacked me, and then like when he, before he ended his battle phase, I activate this so I can get the only BA out of his hand. He didn't have a BA, but he did have a Gamma, and I was going to clear his board and try to you know attack the game. So I just got the Gamma out of his hand and won from there. So yeah, that was the deck I played, and um, pretty much uh, my rec not pretty much my record was six two and one. Uh, round one I played against BA, I won. Round two I don't have my paper because somebody took it. But uh, round two, I believe, I played. I, I played against Goki. I will beat him two one. Round three, I believe I played against Tricksters. I could have played against either Trickster or the BA. Round three, um, but round three and four, I won. Now I don't know which ones I played. The Trickster dude, I talked to him after. He's pretty cool, nice dude. Uh, shout outs to him as well. Um, uh, and then, like I said, round four, I played either BA Tricksters. I, I got those rounds mixed up. I don't remember which one was which, but during basically one of those rounds, I played one of those decks. Um, but I did win. Uh, uh, one was 2-0. The Trickster was 2-0, and then the uh, BA was 2-1. Uh, and then round five, I played against Draco, Draco where I got you know that a red rebooted my opponent, and uh, that was just uh, that was clutch. It was literally my sixth card to draw. Red reboot went off OTK them. Um, Round six, I played against a uh, Goki deck with Hero Kids and stuff. I got, I got, well, game one, I whapped him. Game two, he whapped me. Game three, he had a hand trap. He had the draw. I didn't have nothing to respond. He proceeded to OTK me. That's pretty much this format. Um, I mean, it sucks. So I'm 5 1 at that point. And then round seven, I played against the guy with the Dino, uh, the kid with the Dino Cosmo deck. Not the Dino, but the Kaiju Cosmo deck, Blue Eyes deck. I played against him, uh, beat him. Round eight, I played against two Draco, lost, and then round nine, I played against Goki, and got a draw after coming back game one when he tried to gumbler me because we play goblins. I mean, we play Mizukis and stuff, so it was easy. Uh, to, I just had to bait out to try get it, and I could have won from there, which pretty much I did. So yeah, that was my regional report. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that video. Sorry, I had to speed everything up, but my laptop, as of right now, only can do anything like under 15 minutes. So I'm going to end the video before 14 minutes is too long. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you have not already, and if you want to help the channel out, links are in the description down below. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys tomorrow.